All right, yo, what's good, everybody? It's your guy, Chai, coming back with you guys for another Thrift Talk video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I forgot what number of video this is, but thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, like usual, thanks for the support, you guys. Um, I know it's been like a little over a week since you guys have last seen me. If you guys follow me on Instagram, some of the stuff you guys are about to see are things that I've already posted. Um, but with that being said, man, I'm just going to go ahead and kick things off and um, start with this guy right here. It's a St. Louis Rams uh, vintage... Uh, AJD mesh trucker snapback hat. I picked it up from Savers for two bucks and it's pretty much like brand new. The inside has like no sweat on the sweatband, so I thought that was pretty cool, so I decided to pick it up. Um, I went to a garage sale yesterday and I scooped this blazer bandana thing up. It was only a dollar and it's like brand new. I just ripped off the tag, but it's like pretty much brand new, one sided. And then along with that, I also picked up two, uh, these two Dairy Queen Blazers cups. I don't know if you guys or if your teams did this back in the day, but Dairy Queen used to have these Blazer cups. Um, there's a few different sets. I have two sets, and then I picked up these two cups. So these are pretty dope. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just move on to the shoes because I've got a big-ass pile of clothing to share with you guys. So first things first, are these, um, are these Air Jordan 1s here? here. These are mids. Um, these are actually sample size 10 to fit me pretty good. I want to call these like the Jokers. I don't know if that's the official name, but they are sample size 10, and they fit me pretty good. Uh, next up is a pair of Jordan black and red trunners. These are from 2005, right? And these are a size 9 in pretty good condition. This is like the third pair I've picked up. Um, next up is a pair of these Nike Roshi Run Tech Tinker Hatfield samples. These are actually size 6. I'm not sure if these are men or women, but these look like they would be like a men's size 6, if that makes sense. But these are pretty good condition. They look like they've been worn like once. Um, so nice to come up on this. Um, I picked this up like a couple weeks ago, but I don't think I showed it in the video. But these are just Nike uh, Flyknit Trainers. Uh, women's size 7, I believe, or men's size 7, I'm not sure. It just says size 7 on there, so I'm assuming these are men's because they actually look pretty big for women's. Um, but like I said, man, these are in really good condition. Look like they've been barely worn. Um, along with those, oh, I picked those up at Buffalo, and I also picked these up at Buffalo as well. Another pair of Flyknit trainers. These are like the Sprite colorway, I guess. But these are uh, men's 9.5, um, but they fit super tight, so I'm not sure if these are supposed to be women's or men's, but these this pair fits me super tight. Um... And moving on to the last pair of shoes. I mean, I picked up some other stuff, but this is just basically like the highlights of the stuff that I picked up from this uh, past week and some of the things that I just kind of like forgot to show you guys in like previous videos or whatever. Um, but with that being said, I picked up these eggplant phones right here from uh, another resale store, kind of like, uh, uh, kind of like uh, Buffalo, but they do consignment there apparently, and this was a consignment pair. It's a size 10 uh, egg, eggplant foams. As you can see here, uh, they've got the LG box on there. They're in pretty good condition. Um, they don't have the insoles, um, but I still thought it was a pretty good deal considering the fact that it was a consignment store. Um, so I decided to pick them up. So I might just put insoles in these and keep them because I actually fit these pretty good. But I might just throw them up on eBay. I'm not sure yet. But um, that's it for shoes. And I've got a bunch of uh, clothing to share with you guys. So let's just go and kick things off. Um, I picked this up on Friday. I believe it's a Nike Sportswear Tech Fleece Windrunner. It's a size medium and all blue. Really good condition. Looks pretty much brand new without tags, guys. So I was pretty stoked on scooping this up. Uh, moving on is a vintage Los Angeles Dodgers. Yeah, LA Dodgers uh, starter, like full zip up, light jacket. This thing's in pretty good condition. It's a size large. It should fit me, but I'm still going to try and move it. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm going to try and speed through this because I've got a bunch of stuff and I don't want to drag on the video. Um, next up is a vintage Nautica Challenge, uh, like light zip up windbreaker jacket. It's a size medium. Really good condition. Really not a whole lot wrong with it at all. Um, picked this up yesterday, I believe. I've actually never seen one of these, and I don't know what it's called, but I picked this up from Savers or Value Village, whichever one you guys call it. It's a vintage, like, polo sport. I don't know if it's, like, denim full zip-up jacket. I don't know if it's, like, a flight jacket or a sailor's jacket, whatever. But it's a size medium. This thing is pretty dope. It's in really good condition as well, so I decided to pick it up. Um, let's see here. Picked up this polo piece earlier today. It's actually kind of beat up, but I don't know. I'm still going to try and move it. It's pretty unique. It's a big polo right there. It says Argentina on the front. Uh, number 28 on the back and this is a size large it's a custom fit one but um i decided to pick it up because i usually don't see too many of these polo pieces around um i picked this up yesterday this is a england uh soccer jersey it's by uh was it umbro yeah this thing is pretty much yeah it is it's actually uh, brand new with tags it says the original price was 29 pounds right there um it says authentic like team uh authentic team apparel it says on the size tag or on the tag here it says um 2003 2005 so i'm not sure what that's about um, but this is pretty dope the only reason why i bought it was because it's brand new with tags um i usually don't buy soccer jerseys uh, moving on is a pair of adidas like swingman basketball shorts these are los angeles lakers these are a size large and pretty good condition that's so i decided to pick them up um 
Another pair of shorts right here. This is also by Adidas, but this is an authentic pair. It's a size 34 Portland Trailblazers. Really good condition. Really not a whole lot wrong with it. The pinwheel is really dope. Like the quality on this is really nice. Um, moving on to another pair of authentic basketball shorts. These are uh, Kansas Jayhawks by Adidas. This is a size 38. I'm not sure if this is team issued or like a sample or something, but the size tag says 38 made in the U.S. and it says from spring 2007, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But this is a really good condition, really dope pair of shorts. Um, another pair of shorts, the last pair of shorts, uh, I believe these are actually like Pro Cup, but these are uh, size triple XL plus two length, LA Lakers, Rev 30 Encore basketball shorts. These are brand new with tags. <clears throat> Excuse me. On the tag it says, uh, and what does it say? It says, um, it says something about like a photo shoot or something like that. Yeah, it says a uh, working number uh, photo shoot. So I don't know what that's about. I'm not sure if these are samples or supposed to be samples, but these are identical to the ones that they wore like one season or two seasons ago. So pretty nice little pickup on there or on that. And then moving on to the jerseys, I picked up a bunch of jerseys this week. And like I said, some of these jerseys are the ones I uh, picked up last week, but I didn't show you guys yet. But if you guys follow me on Instagram at Rose City Exchange, you guys might have seen these already. Um, First up is a uh, Oregon Ducks uh, Nike Swingman jersey. Nothing crazy. Size large. Really good condition. Size large plus two length. A really good condition. Really nothing wrong with that one at all. Um, same thing with this. This is a size medium, but it's a Syracuse Orange Men. Size medium plus two length. Again, just a really good condition. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, so these jerseys I picked up last week at a garage sale. Kind of like a random garage sale. Um, but uh, this is a Jordan brand uh, North Carolina jersey. Uh, number 21. I'm actually not sure who that is, but it's a size... Uh, XL plus two length in really good condition. It's like mint condition. Um, same thing with all these jerseys. They're in like brand new condition. Uh, LA Clippers, Lamar Odom, really good condition. Size large plus two length. Uh, that was the away version. This is the home version. LA Clippers, Lamar Odom again. This one's a uh, size large. It doesn't have the plus two length on there, but it's plus two length like all jerseys are anyways. Or a majority of them are. Uh, Michael Finley, uh, Dallas Mavericks. Uh, yeah. Size was a size XL plus two length, really good condition. Again, um, this one I picked up from Buffalo like some time ago, like a week and a half ago. It's a Harwood or Adidas Hardwood Classics Shaquille O'Neal uh, Swingman jersey. It's a size XL plus two length, really good condition. The collar area is a little bit dirty, but other than that, it's like really good condition. It's like very new. Um, I picked this one up at that garage sale as well. This is a Yao Ming Houston Rockets, like Hardwood Classics throwback jersey, whatever it's called. Uh, this one's a size double XL plus two length, really good condition. Um, moving on to the last few pickups here. This one I picked up today at Buffalo. It's a NBA All-Star game. I think it's like 2012 or 2008, something like that. But this is a special edition one, a special edition one, I think. I'm not sure, but it has like the little NBA hologram there. It's a blank. If I hadn't said that already, it's a large tall plus two length really good condition um other than this like the little logo right there kind of fraying apart because it's like a star right there um man that's a big pile and moving on to the last few pickups here the last four jerseys or five jerseys my favorite pickups of this video um i think like i've never found a pair of, or not a pair but i've never found an authentic puma nba jersey before and when i saw this i saw like the neckline and all that stuff and i was like man it's probably just a champion replica so i didn't go immediately to it so i just kind of worked my way in there um but Turns out it was a Puma Authentic New York Knicks Latrell Sprewell jersey. This thing is in pretty good condition. It's a size 52. Um, the, the numbers and the letters are starting to bubble a little bit and it's a little bit dirty, but still, it was only like 15 bucks, so I was really stoked on scooping this up. Um, I scooped this up uh, at the same store as well. This is a LSU Tigers game issued, team issued, um, <clears throat> players uh, populist. I tried to look them up, but I couldn't really find any information about them, but this is a size. 52 plus two length from the 2010-2011 season. Like I said, game issue jersey, really good condition. Um, it's like brand new. Same thing with this. This is also game issued. Uh, University of Oklahoma Sooners, I believe. Number 20, uh, Mason on the back there. This one's a size 50 plus two length from the 2010-2011 season. Really good condition. Another game issue jersey. Um, the last game issue jersey I have right here is this Memphis Tigers, I believe. That's the college. Um, I believe the player is like Deion Anderson or something like that. But this is one of the rare away colorways. This is a size 50 plus 4 length. I'm pretty sure it's from the same same era as those ones, like 2010, 2011. But, um, yeah, this is a really dope jersey. All these are, I believe, game issued anyways and really good condition. And then lastly for the pickups, you guys, for this video is this Jabari Parker um, Adidas Rep 30 Authentic like promo sample jersey. This thing is in really good condition. It's a little bit dirty on the back, um, back here somewhere. But 
I mean, this is just one of a kind jersey. I have another one like this. It's a Dante Exum one. But uh, Adidas posted the Dante Exum jersey on their Instagram, and it said something about welcome Dante to the NBA or something like that. But it said number one and not number 11 like his number. Um, but like I said, I believe these are like promo samples for like photo shoots or something like that. A uh, really good condition. This is a size XL plus two length. Pretty stoked on scooping this up. Along with this one, I also picked up a blank one, but that one already sold like last week. Um, but that's it for this uh, for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for the continued support. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Rose City Exchange. Uh, hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not already. Uh, share the video. Leave comments down below. And all the information that you guys need will be in the description below. And with that being said, you guys, thank you guys. I'll see you guys next week or sometime soon. Peace.